the introduction of diversity and inclusion. Officers, along with DIA initiatives, can sometimes be viewed as bureaucratic overreach, distracting from critical diplomatic and security tasks. It's imperative in my judgment that we continue to build a department that fully reflects our diversity. It is uh, our strength around the world, uh, and we've been working to do that. Uh, as you know, uh, very early in my tenure, I appointed the first chief diversity inclusion officer uh, for the department. Uh, we now have uh, the second one who's uh, uh, taken over, Zakia Carr Johnson, uh, who's hit the ground running. Um, our first uh, chief diversity inclusion officer, and that office produced the AI strategic plan very early on with input from employees all over uh, the world. This might be perceived as excessive political correctness infiltrating vital government functions. There's a concern that placing too much emphasis on diversity could weaken the meritocratic ideal. Hiring and advancement should be based strictly on skills and achievements, not demographic attributes. Some may feel that these initiatives are politically motivated rather than addressing a real necessity. Emphasizing diversity might lead to distrust and frustration among those who believe it diverts attention from pressing domestic and international challenges.